Hello everybody. So I just put up another swarm trap today. I put it on one of the posts that's over my bee yard. More often than not, when my bees swarm, they swarm in that southwesterly direction. So I thought, why not put a swarm trap there? I may put another one nearby. So inside that box, I have completely full of 10 frames, but most of those frames are drawn comb. And a lot of it is drawn drone comb because right now I'm not using that. The bees aren't going to care what kind of comb is in there. They'll fix what they need. Uh, the important part is that you get something to draw them in. So if they can find a home that already has drawn comb for them, uh, some honey for food stores, and I put granulated honey in there. I also put a good handful of dead bees in there to get that bee smell so it mimics a old hive that maybe just died out over the winter to trick them into moving in and then on the edges of the box I put a very light amount of lemongrass oil. Lemongrass helps draw swarms in and the theory is that it smells and mimics a little bit of queen pheromone so those queens and that swarm will ideally draw right to the edge of that box see that there's already a good space to start up a home in there and move in or at least cling to that box long enough for me to get in there and get that swarm before they move on. So this week and this weekend, it's going to warm up. We're going to start seeing and hearing about swarms like crazy. So make sure that you are prepared. If you have empty nuke boxes, if you have empty deeps, mediums, set them out, put a little bit of honey in them. You never know, you might just catch yourself a swarm.